What is going on everybody? So in today's video, we're gonna be covering how did I create this video? <laughs> Familiar, we dropped the video last week, and I said in a previous vlog that I'm gonna be covering the behind the scenes of how I was able to make this Power Rangers video come to life. And what I wanted to do with this video is show you a more in-depth look as to what my life consists of being a person that works a full-time job but also creates content full-time. <laughs> Technic, but we make do with it. So what I wanted to do in this video was just show you a behind the scenes look and how I made all of this come to life. What my mindset was, what I wanted to shoot, where did I want to go, and what was my ideology behind putting this all together. So with that being said, let's get into the video. <laughs> going on everybody welcome to the behind the scenes vlog of the mighty morphin power rangers tribute video that i'm going to be dropping on halloween now we are in the week of my boy coming over to evaluate the dogs and to produce the costumes and hold on let me give my boy the proper introduction hold on, let me take a sip of my coffee <laughs> it's actually a week that i'm getting ready to go to work it's like seven in the morning right now but um let me get the proper introduction to my boy his name is will vasquez we've been friends for over 10 years now and my boy runs a small business it's called concrete creations if you're not too familiar with cosplay that's like the shows like comic con and all of those events where you see people dress up as characters well my boy produces costumes on that type of level so there was no one better to come to with this idea to help execute this idea and my boy was actually featured in a magazine with his Voltorb creation so this man has a lot of talent and he's one of the up and coming guys in this business so there was no one else better to come to with the idea I genuinely cannot wait for him to get here so we can have a conversation about it and just get these ideas out and produce the costume so that being said I'm gonna pick up this video for when he gets here suffocating him like that so we have a yeah. strap here that strap you could adjust. I have it so you could adjust it to him. Okay. Um, this right here in the front will have that triangle piece that he has. Okay. Will have to be the back will have to be more wider than the front. And the clips that, that go back here will hide everything put together. So this whole piece removes. So that strap holds everything else. This strap ends up coming and looping around. Open around and attach into this part right here. I understand that. That's so good. Is, uh, if you need me to explain more, then... Yeah, you okay. see, like, this is the original one. See how blocky it is? Yeah. When I did it, then towards the end, they gave it more of a shape. So I'm going to yeah. go with this look. Okay. And that's the look I was looking for. Yeah. That so one. You, if you look at it, the look also goes with the curved piece on the side. Yeah. I was going to get a special color, like a pink one, like, like a shine to it. Glitter shine to it, so okay. like a metallic pink. Yeah. For having a metallic pink on with a pink piece, yeah, it'll, it'll kind of blend it all together and it'll pop out. But I can have this pink, have that piece go like ghost. Yeah, which would be dope. And have the coin pink. That'll be dope. That'll be dope. Right, right I can rock with that. I can rock with that. Oh, look at This is going to be a thinner foam, and it's going to have the nylon strapping. You're able to flex it. Okay. It's not going to be stiff. This will be a thicker, a little bit of thicker foam, and this part will be a little bit thicker foam. Same, same thing with this. Okay. So this will be more stiffer. Yeah. So this is this is will be thin not only because it's more flexible, but it won't hurt. Yeah. So that's that's the goal for this. So this pattern is done. Yeah. 
what is going on everybody so we are now two weeks removed from my boy coming here and evaluating the dogs and putting their costumes into production he has shown me some teasers he does not want to show me the finished product obviously because they're not finished yet but he says even when he's done he wants me to get my first reaction in person but so far they are looking incredible and I cannot wait to get them here and just try them on the dogs and hopefully take another step towards completing this vision that I set out almost a year ago. So I actually have to get all of the clips that I've recorded for when my boy was here up on the computer so we can start the process of putting this video together. So I'm gonna be picking up when my boy gets in. You're gonna get my live reaction to the costumes. <laughs> This is very humbling, man. Cause like I told you, bro, this was a year in the making, bro. You know, this is a year in my head. Seeing this costume in my head, you know, you being able to bring this out, man. Like, this is just amazing, bro. To be honest with you, very humbling. I appreciate your work, bro. Look at that shit. Oh, what? Oh my God. I got it. It's over there. Yeah, I got it. So. Had to pick up this dragon dagger to complete the costume for Ghost. I hope this came out really, really dope. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. I mean, it's used from 1994, but this is gonna get it. This is gonna get the job done. Yo, that's fire. Look at that. Wow. Damn, bro. Got the dragon dagger. Look at that shit. Oh, my God. That's that spoiled girl. Yeah. It's morphin time, ghost. <laughs> Yo, this is fire, bro. There you go. I'm not okay. He's gonna have to see. Now, I use my knee, bro. I was like, <laughs> okay, this is body that he has to be like this. Kind of like Yo. But the mess I had in my job, bro, I'm glad my boss didn't come in. <laughs> she would have been like, what is this? <laughs> I can tell you guys this, though. That Green Ranger costume, that's been in the making in my head for, I want to say, like the last year. I wanted to do it last year when we did the Ninja Turtles theme. And, you know, I wasn't too sure on how to execute the idea. I felt like it was too good of an idea to just rush it because last year, during that costume contest, we actually just threw something on the fly like a week before and it came to fruition. This one, I've known that I've wanted to make the dogs Power Rangers. So, you know, to see how it came about and the vision, you know, it. I'm just so thrilled with, you know, the outcome. So shout out to my man for being able to create it, man, making it come to light, bro. Appreciative of this man. 
Damn, so that's it. What shot deal? Now nah, you might have people be like this. Yo, I need some of that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to the crib again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to the crib and get that shit done. Sheesh. Damn, bro. Even leave it without this if you want to. Totally up to you. I definitely do think the straps, though, given the fact that it all sets with the silver, make it look even harder. Right. Make it look even dope. So I did it with this one without the straps. You look at his. So he has the straps yeah. here. So like, fuck it, I can do it. Appreciate you, my boy. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you, my boy. Have a good one, brother man. What is up, everybody? So today is the big day. We're going to go on the road and get the shots that I'm seeing in my head, utilizing the armors that we just got from my boy Will earlier this week. So here we go. As you can tell, we got all of our stuff. It's time to go on the road and make this all come to light. And like I told you guys in those clips with Will, this was actually a year in the making. Hold on, let me get this focus. See, we get that right there. Ah, come on, let's focus. <laughs> all right, so this video was a year in the making in my head and trying to make this all come to light, utilizing the Power Rangers and utilizing that intro, which is gonna inspire what we're gonna be doing in this video. <laughs> but we're about to get on the road. We're gonna go to a park and get the first set of shots that I wanna do for Chanel's armor. So let's get back into that piece of the video. <laughs> What is up everybody? So we just touched down at the park location. We are currently in the open fields. You can tell, look at all the trees in the background. It's a well lit day out, so it's gonna be really, really nice to put together these shots and really get some nice shots with the light. And if you're not too familiar with the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger show, the intro, or when they're summoning the Zords, the pterodactyl comes out from open field. Hence why I'm here with the trees right now because I wanna be able to pay homage utilizing Chanel's armor, the right way to the Pink Ranger, and utilizing the sound effect in the video. So I wanted to get some gimbal shots, and I'm not too sure. I wanna be able to get a few drone shots of it. The drone shots were not in my head, so I don't know how I'm gonna be able to really edit that into the actual video that I have in mind. That's this portion of the video and I'm gonna be showing you some clips of what I got with the camera and the drone. So let's get into that portion of the video. Everybody. So I just wrapped up filming Chanel's armor in the middle of the field and the shots came out really really dope I was able to get on camera what I saw in my head I'm not too sure if I'm gonna be utilizing a drone shot But I'm for sure gonna be utilizing the gimbal shot and once I'm able to slow it down in Premiere Pro with the 50% speed Nested throwing the little warp stabilizer. It's gonna come out really 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 nice And that was this portion of the video because I was able to get a lot of the stuff that I needed for Chanel's armor filmed here And what I'm gonna be doing next is I'm actually gonna be going to Liberty State Park in Jersey City If you're not too familiar with the area the park is really really nice and why am I going there? So ghost is gonna be the Green Ranger and what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to utilize the water Because of the Dragon Zord because of the Green Ranger because of the significance of it, you know and really be able to bring those shots come to light utilizing the drone for sure especially a nice reveal shot utilizing the sound effect from the dragon sword but also filming the armor in liberty state park and getting some really really nice shots that could really make it all come to light so this is the life of a content creator and i told you guys earlier that i really wanted to be able to bring you on this journey to show you what it takes to actually make these videos come to light because the way i film it's a lot different it's not as simple as hey let's just film and get it together like no it takes time it takes consistency and it takes precision and you want to be able to execute the plan and the shots that you see in your head so let's pick up at liberty state park and i'll start recording once I get there. Okay, everybody, so we just touched down at Liberty State Park, and as you can tell in the background, we got all the buildings in the background. I'll take you with me a little bit. 
So we're around the water area and I just parked my truck right here because I'm actually about to get the drone in the air. And what I wanna be able to get is, there's like a little walkway to a bridge that they have over the water. I wanna be able to replicate like if the Dragon Zord was coming out through the water. And that's the whole basis of what I'm doing with that shot right there. And I wanna be able to get a reveal of those buildings to be able to really showcase, you know, this area and to really bring out that light and that tribute to the Green Rangers. So that's gonna be this portion of the park and I'm actually gonna go to another portion where I'm actually gonna film the armor. So let's show you some of these drone shots. <laughs> Hope that each and every single one of you enjoy those drone shots that I just was able to capture of Liberty State Park, of where I was at in that location by the bridge. And I'm not too happy with how the reveal shot came about. I got a nice droney shot of the bridge going up, which I'm gonna be utilizing in the video, but I'm not too thrilled with how that reveal shot came about. And the reveal shot is big, especially for this video, utilizing the Green Ranger instrumental that has to hit the right way. So as I was driving to go to the other location of Liberty State Park where I wanna film Ghost Armor, I came across this location and this location is right by the water as you can tell in the background you got the water you got the buildings you have everything that I'm looking for to be able to execute on this reveal shot so I'm gonna get the drone back up in the air and I'm gonna get the reveal shot that I'm looking for <laughs> so let's get into that portion of the video just so with the reveal shot I was able to capture a lot of the things that I was looking for to really execute on the video the way I see it in my head and you know we just touched down at the second portion well technically now the third portion of Liberty State Park where I want to film Ghost Green Ranger costume and as you can tell in the back we got the water and I'm gonna be utilizing that area right there to get a lot of the nice shots that I want of Ghost costume and there's another area I don't know if you could tell hold on let me walk a little bit so over there, that's where they dock the boats, you know, and they get everything up and running right there. I want to be able to film the Dragon Dagger, the nice little flute thing. I want to film it there and the wrist cufflinks. I want to be able to get the shots over there by the water to really make it all pop. And I want to be able to get the last shot. Hold on, let me get my armor here. <laughs> Around right there, showcasing the totality of the armor to really make this whole vision come to light. So let's get into the clips and we'll pick back up to the video. every single one of you enjoyed those clips that I was able to get of Ghost Armor. It came together really, really nicely and I'm just so happy that I was able to execute the vision that I had in my head and being able to put it on camera. That's the biggest thing is being able to make these shots come to light and I'm just so thrilled and I was able to really get the shots that I was looking for. So we were able to get the drone shots today. We were able to get Chanel shots and ghost shots. I was able to get everything that I wanted. So that wraps up this portion of the video. And before I can even get into the next phase, I wanna be able to explain something to you guys. This was a long time in the making. We actually wanted to do this idea last year and we weren't able to because it was rushed and I wasn't at the point filming and editing wise to be able to make all of this come to light and to be able to execute this vision. And I actually need two more days worth of shots. So I gotta get shots when I'm there, utilizing JoJo in his costume and being able to make it all come to light, the family, the tribute, to make all those shots come to light. So that's what I'm gonna be working on next. So that wraps up this portion of the video. And being that I was able to get these shots today, I need to get some shots of me with the dogs in their armor that I wanna get on the drone that's gonna come out really, really nice. And I'm gonna be picking up at that portion of the video. That wraps this up and let's pick back up into the video. All right, everybody, so I hope you enjoyed those clips from earlier in the morning. I'm actually in my son's room right now. I'm actually trying to find his Blue Ranger onesie because we're gonna have him as the Blue Ranger, Chanel as the Pink Ranger, Ghost as the Green Ranger, JoJo as the Red Ranger, and unfortunately, Ada was supposed to be the Yellow Ranger, but the costume didn't come in on time. 
unfortunately, but that's the tribe. And when we get to Allentown, what I'm gonna be looking for is, I wanna do shots of JoJo, like action shots. I wanna get really, really nice shots of the dogs, the family, and just put it all together, utilizing the facial features. And I'm just gonna get creative with this video. We are almost done. <laughs> but I'm gonna be picking up from when we get to Allentown. I'm not gonna be showing you too many clips because it's gonna be a lot that I film. So I'm just gonna give you a couple. And I'm just gonna be picking up from that point when I'm editing the video and when I'm near the finished product. So let's get into that portion of the vlog. Everybody, so I hope that each and every single one of you enjoyed those clips from Allentown. Now, I got a lot of them. I want to say it was over 150 plus, and I wasn't going to post all of them for your viewing pleasure, for, especially for given the short amount of time that I wanted to show them. But that wraps up that portion of the video. And what I was going to do was I was going to be showing you through Premiere Pro how I edited the video, but the sound just was not coming out good, and I'm a guy that's big on quality. So what I'm going to be doing instead of just showing you the finished product right now. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so I hope that each and every single one of you enjoyed that portion of the video. Please don't forget to watch it on our channel. The link will be posted in the comments and it will be pinned so you can see the full video and you can see the finished product. But I hope that each and every single one of you enjoyed this video. And my whole idea, well, my goal behind this video was just to show you the life of a content creator and to show you the depths that I'm going to be able to create these videos for you guys. And I hope that each and every single one of you enjoyed this video. And like I said, we're on this journey together and I'm just so grateful for all of you that's taking some time to view our content so with that being said that wraps up everything and that wraps up the mighty morphin power rangers video and we'll catch you on the next one stay blessed y'all have a good day and we'll up and out of here <laughs>